you may have heard about Harry and Meghan's recent trip to Nigeria. The stated purpose of the trip was to promote the Invictus Games, which are or sports games, and to promote mental health. I think this was a giant PR exercise. It just came off as so tone deaf, so lacking in awareness as to what was going on in the country. So if you followed me, you know what's going on in Nigeria. You've got over 3 million farmers, Christian farmers, whose lands have been stolen. You've got up to 100,000 Christians brutally murdered. And the Nigerian government never does anything. And why? Because they're aiding and abetting. It's all the work of the Islamists and the Islamists within the government that aid and abet. Now, you can't prove that in a court of law, but that's what's going on. I've done this for a long time, and you can see what's going on. The locals, uh, the Nigerians all know what's going on. Nigeria is one of the worst places in the world to live as a Christian, second only probably to North Korea. But all we heard was rainbows and unicorns, and that's the tragedy. And if I was in charge of Harry and Meghan and their press and their communications chief, what would I tell them? Harry, study what your mother did. She was a world-class ambassador for the royals, even if they didn't feel it, they didn't like it. But she was a world-class ambassador for the royals. But more importantly, she was an ambassador for the war-torn, for the weary, for the oppressed. So that would be a completely different trip. And then we could wake the world up as to what's going on in Nigeria. And that saddens me so much because most people have no idea what's going on. But I say, praise God that you do and that you care about your persecuted brother in Nigeria.